morning. It is the week before Thanksgiving. So yes, I am really in the thick of things right now with work because I work in retail and next week being Black Friday and Cyber Monday is like the biggest, busiest time of the year because that's when everyone is doing the most shopping. So right now I'm just quickly putting a little bit of makeup on. Um, I am just going to make my bed really quickly. And so this weekend, actually, I am going home to New Hampshire. So that'll be nice. I haven't seen my family since last Christmas, actually. And I made a vlog on that if you um, guys want to see. But I thought that this weekend we would just do a little vlog where I could just show you, like, <laughs> I guess this weekend going home just kind of like the traveling home and taking you guys home with me uh for thanksgiving which will be really nice it's really cute kind of up there this time of year i am uh grew up i am originally from new hampshire so that's where my parents are and it's cute this time of year it's very like cozy cabiny like snow mountains woodsy so uh yeah it'll be fun to show you guys that just using some glossy cloud paint. I love puff. Also, <laughs> it is my birthday on Tuesday. My birthday is November 24th. So, um, I will actually be working on my birthday this year because it's on Tuesday. And, you know, as I mentioned, work is so busy this time of year. So, I do have to work on my birthday, but hopefully... Lyle and I will try to do something fun together this weekend um, to celebrate. I know it's COVID time, so, you know, birthdays this year are just, it is what it is. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you guys watching have celebrated your birthday this year and felt like it's just not the same as other years, so that's okay. Um, you know, it is what it is. We have to work with what we have, and I'm totally good with that. So this brush actually is really cool. This is from Rain Cry, and I have the mini version just because, I don't know, I like mini things, and it's easy to travel with, um, but it's like a thick boar bristle brush, so if you have, for example, um, like, if you're trying to get your hair more healthy and you brush through this, it's essentially like pulling the natural oils from your roots down to the end of your hair so that's really good for it and um especially also like not to be like gross or whatever but if you have any like i don't know kind of like a greasy hair and you want to make it look not as greasy um this helps with that as well it's like i think of it as like a better version for your hair than just putting dry shampoo in it because dry shampoo can sometimes create buildup on your hair versus this is like working with the oils and pulling them down to the rest of your hair. Back in a quick bun. This is like my everyday look, I guess, for work. Usually, actually, I don't even put any makeup on. I just do not turn my Zoom camera on anymore because I'm like, mm, what's the point? <laughs> um, and I just wear like a comfortable t-shirt because, and I don't put any heat on my hair because I kind of feel like right now with COVID is like the opportunity to like get your hair healthy again by not putting heat products on it and everything like that. Oh my gosh, what time is it? Woo! It's 10, it's 10 25. So I have five, five minutes. And before I jump on a call, I'm going to just quickly make my bed so that I feel good and semi clean and put together for the day. shouldn't have even laughed in the first place. I am a shadow. <laughs> Hello. Doop. Okay, so I just made a very, very quick lunch. 
of a salad that I just threw together. Basically, what I do is before I leave for a trip, just any time, like a vacation, any time I'm going to be away from my, my apartment for a long time, I want to use up everything in my fridge, all of my produce that's going to go bad, or else I'll just throw it out because it'll be bad by the time when I go back. So today, I just made a mishmash salad of uh, salad leaves, some uh, raw broccoli, carrots, celery, cilantro, radishes, and I'm just going to use some balsamic vinaigrette dressing on here. It is almost 2 o'clock on a Friday. Oh, I can't open this. You know what? <laughs> I feel like this is one of those things when you're like a girl that lives alone, you're just like, you have to open all of the things yourself. Sometimes actually a trick for any other girls that have trouble opening things. If you have anything rubber, like a rubber band for example, sometimes if you put it around the top and then it just gives you something to grip onto and that's something that can really help. I'm also going to put some nuts in here. So as you guys saw on my what I eat in a week video, my nuts of choice for a salad are uh, why am I blanking on these? These little green ones. I like adding nuts because it adds a nice crunch to salads. And then these are hemp seeds. And I like hemp seeds because you can barely taste them. They also add a little bit of a crunch and they're good for, for digestion. And I feel like sometimes my stomach will hurt. So um, anything I can do to help that and they're also supposed to be good for you as well and have lots of protein in them. So since, as you guys notice, I don't really usually put any type of protein on my salad as far as like meat goes. Um, sometimes we'll do things like that where you can still get your protein in for the day but you're not necessarily eating meat. And I get, you know, it's not obviously a complete supplement. I mean, who really knows what you're actually supposed to do. Everyone seems to have different opinions on how to get the protein in, but um, this is just kind of what I've been doing. Here's the salad. Oh, these are my little, <laughs> these are my slippers from Amazon. They're just like so fluffy. It's cold this time of year. So I'm just gonna set myself up and continue. Continue on with Friday. Okay, now, so quickly before it gets really dark because it is 3.30 and it is almost pitch black outside, which is really depressing. Um, I just wanted to show you some stuff I got recently because I think it's cute. <laughs> um, this is like a sweater dress from And Other Stories. And I love it because you have, it's like the best combination of being cozy and comfortable but still feeling like you're dressed up. And I just love the fact that this one is like a neutral sort of light brown color. It's really warm on the top like as if you're wearing a sweater and it has this turtleneck, uh, kind of like a mock neck at the top as well that just keeps you really warm. And then it's belted so some sweater dresses just have no shape at all. But I love the fact that this one actually does have a shape because it has this belt right here and it's also a mini dress so you can kind of show off your legs which is something that I really like about it and I just think that it's so chic with the fact that the belt is kind of like a monochromatic kind of same exact style on the belt and the same color as it is the rest of the dress so I feel like it just adds something really nice and I think that this is really cute and I feel like it would be amazing with a pair of boots. I would probably pair my Zara boots with it. These are just like the lace up off white boots from last year, but they're, they don't sell these anymore, but there are so many good dupes on the internet. Okay, so this is just to kind of show you like the full length with the boots. So with a nice white boot, I love wearing white ankle boots in the winter, but not white white. So there's a difference because, okay, just coming over here into like my shoe closet, basically those are like white booties. Those are like classic white booties, but then these ones, I don't know if you can see the color difference, but they're just 
off. This is like an off-white. And I feel like this is more appropriate for the fall winter versus this, which feels to me very spring and summer. So yeah, it's just like really chic, really cute. And it's from another stories and it's just so cozy. I feel like this is like, I could feel like I could wear this and this is the type of dress that you could wear in so many different situations. So love it. I also got, and I hope that you guys don't laugh, my hair is actually just awful, but I got this cute little pink beret, and I just love these. I feel like they're so cute for the winter time, and if you want to wear something in your head that's actually going to keep you warm, but you still want it to be cute, I feel like something like this just adds something to an outfit. Yeah, so I just think that it's cute. It has like a little thing at the top. And yeah, it's just like a nice way to kind of stay warm in the winter. So as far as like winter accessory goes, winter accessories goes, I feel like this is a cute one for keeping you warm in the winter. And then I also got, I also got a pair of earmuffs. And I actually think that these are really cute in the winter and the reason why I like them is because sometimes you don't always want to put your hair in a hat and mess it up. And in doing so, it's kind of like you're basically wearing a headband but keeping your ears warm <laughs> and I feel like it's so cute and cozy it's like you just have these little puff balls on your ears and I got these from Amazon so they're super cheap they're probably like I think maybe ten dollars or something and yeah they might actually be kid sized <laughs> because I have this thing where I feel like well I tried to buy a pair of earmuffs recently from Marshalls and this whole headband part was also fuzzy like this and it just looked huge like I looked like an actual like I don't know Eskimo or something I don't know I just looked so bundled up but this is like a good happy medium <laughs> so yes and then I also got recently this white coat from LPA and this is like the fuzziest white faux fur obviously winter coat and I love that it's cropped but it still has kind of like the long sleeve so it's really cozy and chic and I feel like this one would be a good coat to kind of dress up in the winter so say if you're wearing like a nice dress or obviously not in 2020 but if you have like a nice event to go to then this would be like the nice a kind of nice little like shawl almost I would throw over like a pretty dress or you could just wear it on a casual day too as like a just like you're warm and fuzzy maybe even with the earbuds <laughs> and, then, and then you're just so bundled up like a little snowball <laughs> so yes yeah, so here's combining all three of those things I feel like this is just a really cute but also chic outfit like I don't know in some ways sometimes when I dress in like all light pink I feel like I look like a child <laughs> but in this one I don't feel like a child at all I feel like I actually look like a cool adult <laughs> like just a chic person I don't know if I were to do this honestly I would probably wear some like nude tights um I don't really like black tights but there are some really nice tights that are sheer like on the internet right now I used to be a dancer actually I was a dancer for 15 years um I did ballet and, and I also did like jazz and modern and all these other things so I actually have like these dance tights from Capizio that are nude colored and they're super thick actually I'll show you so this is just like my sock drawer, but basically, yeah, they're from Capizio and they look like this and they're actually super thick, but there are sites like Sheer Techs that sell tights that are supposed to be like completely unbreakable and warm. So there's definitely great ways to find, like if you want to be wearing dresses in the winter that you can still be warm with like a really warm pair of tights. something like if you have a really sparkly skirt for the winter time such as this one this is a longer um, midi length skirt I believe I got this at H&M last year something like this with like a different top on you would just be like uh, a sparkly snow princess <sighs> okay all right enough plain dress up for me I actually need to get back to my desk I have emails coming in 
as I am filming. So this weekend and this next week is going to be actually nuts. I have no idea how I'm going to survive. Hopefully things settle down as soon as uh, Cyber Monday is over, which is 11.30. So we're almost there, but goodness, with like traveling this weekend, being home, just like work, I need to do laundry. I was also trying to figure out how to get a COVID test before going home, but everything is completely booked. I think that so many people are just getting a test before going home, but uh, yes, that is work calling and I will check in later. Hi guys, so this is a bit of a crazy moment. It is 6.30 p.m. Um, on Friday still. I was just got out of the shower, just finished doing my makeup. I was about to blow dry my hair, but then realized I got a message from work that they want me to implement something now, which ugh, it's always like it's always after 5 p.m. on a Friday when you just think that it like you're ready to go for the weekend that they're like, oh, like no, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, basically my work computer is plugged in through a plug that is sneaking under my bathroom door right here because there's very few plugs in this apartment so yeah i plugged it in and basically i can't unplug it to like blow dry my hair because i need my work computer so i'm gonna multitask right now figure out what this work person wants and simultaneously blow dry my hair under my desk <laughs> so here we go it's Saturday morning so um last night I did end up just getting dinner I didn't film anything because um, just everything with work was a little bit stressful so I just didn't I um, just kind of wanted to relax a bit but this morning right now it's Saturday morning and it's pretty early I'm actually walking to go get a COVID test right now so hoping that I'm gonna be able to get one I'm just going to like a walk-in situation but thought it would be interesting to show you if you're thinking about getting one too or if um or how the situation is at least in new york so yeah i'm not gonna like actually show anything but um i'll let you guys know what my thoughts are so that is the line i'm a little bit worried because i have a work call at 10 so Okay guys, so I just got a COVID test. Um, I waited in line for four hours in the cold um, for CityMD. And I have to say, it really was not as bad as I thought that it would be. I feel like if anyone is scared to get a test because you think it's going to hurt or be uncomfortable, it is slightly uncomfortable, but like it was not as bad as I felt like people were making it out to be. So if you feel like you wanna get a test, definitely don't be scared. Um, I know I definitely was beforehand and I was really um, scared waiting to go in, but honestly, it's totally, it's totally fine. Um, and it was a rapid test, so I'm going to get the test in 30 to 40 minutes, probably max an hour. And, um, you know, it's, <laughs> it's a way to protect my family. I don't want to go home and potentially be carrying COVID and get them sick. So. This just gives me peace of mind as I am going home um, before I even leave knowing if I have it or not and then just being really careful on the bus tomorrow because I am taking a bus home. There's a bus that goes from like 42nd Street to literally to New Hampshire and so um, I just am gonna be very, very careful on there. Maybe I'll wear two masks or something, but yeah, so. 
so I will let you guys know once I get the test back just to finish off this story of like where the results negative or positive so I'll let you know but my phone is on 1% I am freezing cold I'm going to go home into my warm apartment and hide under my covers because I'm like a frozen popsicle And it's supposed to be a luggage, but it's like this steam line luggage, which is like, I don't know, six to eight hundred dollars for one pretty luggage. But this one's from Amazon, which was a lot. What? That should be cool. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So you're not going to use your way anymore? I don't know. It depends. That's so cool. Look at how cool it is. love the pattern on it, like this rose pattern, like that seems like a little childish to me. I can not see it. Like from here, it doesn't even... Oh, maybe, but like, yeah. you can't even tell. Yeah. It's actually too big to yeah, be a carry-on. I got like the in-between size because I was like, I feel like this is the perfect like weekend size. Like, not my huge luggage, but not. We have very different versions of weekend size. <laughs> I hope mean, weekend is, size is the best. Is this size. big or small for a weekend? Huge. Size? Really? I feel like this is perfect. Okay, because my, like, okay, when you're a Volvo, think about how many, like, or. The, like, makeup and shoes take up half of my whole luggage, even just those things. Travel or Una? Not Unilever. I don't know why I want to say Unilever. Unilever is the company that makes all the consumer products. Yeah, but not that one. But I will leave them linked down below because for these two suitcases together, it was two hundred. Which, when you see the other like vintage like suitcases like this, they're usually six hundred dollars for just this one. Whereas you get two, like one like this and one smaller one, for $200. And I just think that they are so cute and fun. And this size here, I will leave the exact one linked down below, is not... Um, you can't take this as a carry-on, but they do make another size that's slightly smaller than this if you want to have it as a carry-on. I just felt like that was a little bit too small and I wanted it for... Like if I ever go on like a weekend trip or if I'm visiting somewhere, a friend or whatever, I do that more often than I fly. So I need something that's like a good in-between size. And then this one inside is actually so cute. I feel like I would put all of my like makeup in here, probably like all of my makeup, my skincare, and probably like hair products and stuff because there's a little zipper pouch on the top here, which is just so cute. And... Also, it looks like this one comes with a strap. So if you wanted, ah, oh, how adorable! Oh wait, okay. Actually, I think I might know what this is. Okay, yeah. So it's basically, I mean, besides the fact that it looks like a vintage luggage, it still functions like a normal luggage. So it still has wheels on the bottom. You could still spin it. It's easier if you're going through an airport. It has um, a handle here still, and. You can put this one on the top 
and I'm pretty sure that that's what this strap is for actually is if you want to do like and it's connected and it can't go anywhere and it's so pink and cute and vintage I'm like the only thing is is like I would want to take this to go home to New Hampshire but <laughs> But I'm kind of like, I need more space in this because I'm taking a lot of stuff home that when I was moving, I just don't really need here, and I but I don't fully want to get rid of it, so I'm just going to store it at my parents' house. So because I'm taking home a lot of things, like for example, my gowns, I don't need here anymore. So I need room to take all that stuff home. So what I'm going to do is take my like bigger, ugly luggage, and this is going to stay here for now, but on the next trip that I take, it will be coming with me. home with some peace of mind that I'm not going to infect my family so yay that is negative um, but right now I'm actually at a gas station um, with Lyle because we are going to the Dyson store because um, like I said it's my birthday on Tuesday and um, something that I really wanted for my birthday was the Dyson Airwrap <laughs> and so we're gonna go get it and I'm really excited and I'm hoping that you can pick out like the box that you wanted in and put your initials on it and stuff so I'll show you guys that um, and then last thing yes there are gas stations in New York City if you've ever wondered that because I've always wondered that too is like where in Manhattan are the actual gas stations <laughs> they are around the perimeter of the island so on like the furthest avenues towards the water is where they are which is something that I only learned recently <laughs> They have this button here you can press, and this is how it works. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's the little, um, it's a little brush to clean. Okay. Okay. Are you guys visiting here? Uh, nope, no, we live here. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to show you oh, how to clean it now. Feel this. <laughs> Damn. Ooh. So this is the area right here. Okay. You want to clean this part and this part once a week at least. Oh, okay, wow. You want to clean this part once every two weeks. Okay. You actually put this in water and a dot of dishwashing liquid okay let it soak for five minutes and get all the gook and stuff off yeah and if it's still dirty take it out and and wash it with this so they already have some stuff up on fifth avenue as far as christmas goes for example the cartier store right here is really sparkly and then i also saw something else oh the sax windows which i showed you guys I think the tree is also up too, which you guys heard this year is like really <laughs> kind of wonky, but yeah. <laughs>
Climb down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk to have it so basically I ordered this dress from Shein I just got it in the mail along with another little beret this one is a white one so now I have like a pink one and a white one for the winter I so I ordered this a couple weeks ago on Shein because obviously Shein shipping takes a long time um, it can take like three plus weeks to get here and uh, I just thought that it would be really cute for the holidays and uh, obviously this is the Gian Battista Valley Times H&M collaboration that they did. I think it was last year around Christmas actually, so just about a year ago. And obviously that dress sold out really quickly. It was also really expensive, like $300 or something, for something that like when are you actually going to wear it? So they made a dupe on Shein and to be completely honest, I don't love the the business model of Shein. It kind of, you know, it's a little, not so sure. <laughs> but they do make a cheap version of it and I thought that it would be really cute for like holiday photos. And I saw that so many other girls have also gotten it too so it's kind of like, you know, we're all just going to be wearing the same dress I guess. But who cares because it's pink and fluffy and cute. I almost, okay, here's the Dyson. This is just a video of like so many new things, so this is like a really exciting video for me uh, this weekend. But I guess that that's kind of the way it is with when, your birth, when it's like your birthday. So, yay, oh my goodness. Okay, so I am back in my apartment for just a little bit. I'm leaving tomorrow morning to get on the bus. So right now I am just going to pack and then go meet up with Lyle. We'll probably eat dinner or something. And then yeah, and then tomorrow morning, going to New Hampshire. <laughs> Making a quick packing list before I figure out what to put in my suitcase. Oh, Cafe right Habana. Either. I don't. I, I, you could totally be right. I'm not sure. It's very good. It's home of the world famous corn. <laughs> so we shall see how this is. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Get the ceiling. I'm on a work call, doing my makeup.
<laughs> so before we get on the bus, well, before I get on the bus, I was, um, Lyle and I just came here. We were going to go to this place that we made fun. It's called Angelina, and it's like a, a French or Parisian, I guess, cafe. It's supposed to be really nice, and they're supposed to have really good hot chocolate, but um, the line is really long, <laughs> and um, we didn't really think that that was going to be the case. Well, we weren't sure. So we're gonna try to come back another time probably because it is supposed to be really good. But yeah, I got my suitcase, heading to the bus now. Midtown, they have this. Sorry for the sirens in the background, but they have this like winter market where basically you can buy cute little gifts. And they have like, ooh, that is really pretty Some ornaments. <laughs> and then, usually, back, back there, they have an ice skating rink. the bus has like one row of single seats and they have another row of double seats and I want to make sure that I'm sitting by myself so just to be safer <laughs> so yeah that's why I got here early but yep just chilling I'm here an hour early <laughs> I'm crazy but I just needed to make sure that I got on okay and everything so yeah Lyle just left me so now I'm sad but he made sure that I got food and got here safely. Ugh, I love him so much. But yeah. I am on my way again. Can't believe it's been a year. Riding through the winter night. Thinking of my only wish I don't need a perfect snowman And I don't need the bells and vows But I'll be home for you mm -hmm. 
adventure. As you guys just saw, it was a nice journey up here and I'm so happy to see my family and to spend some time uh, where I grew up. And as you can see, I am in my childhood bedroom. I'm actually just editing this video. I'm about to sign it off, but just wanted to say thank you for watching. On the way up here, if you guys saw my Instagram stories, basically, I while I was on the bus, I like moved accidentally and flung my hard drive like onto the floor when I when I was in the middle of editing this on the bus and basically it broke it's totally corrupt now so all of my photos and videos from the last two one or two years are on that drive and it's totally corrupt now so i was at like a total loss for words i was i was shook it <laughs> and my dad and i stopped at a best buy when he picked me up from the bus and I was able to buy another hard drive quickly and Apple helped me actually get it so that I could put this vlog up, which I'm really happy about because, I don't know, it's something about this one I really like and I think that it's, it's just a heartwarming one and I hope that you guys um, think that as well and that you enjoyed this vlog. So I'm going to sign off here. But I will be home for the rest of the week, so hoping that I'll be able to film another video while I'm here, um, just of like Thanksgiving and stuff, and I will keep you guys updated. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and check out the Fashion Squirrel, and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye.